CataractCoach.com. Faco Flip and Chop is great for Beverly Hills cataracts. Now, I say that with a little bit of joking, but it is true. Beverly Hills is a part of Los Angeles that is very affluent. And in general, patients in this area tend to be healthier. And they present for cataract surgery much earlier on. So patients that have relatively mild cataracts, perhaps with vision of 20 out of 50, want to have cataract surgery and don't want to wait until it's worse. Now, there are other parts of Los Angeles, particularly where we have our teaching hospital, where I teach my residents, where we see brunescent cataracts, mature white cataracts, every single week, very common. But here in Beverly Hills, at our private surgery center, we have patients who have cataracts like this, relatively modest. Now, of course, on the video here, we're exaggerating the red reflex, so you won't see much of the nuclear opacity until after I do some hydro dissection. But in these types of cataracts, the reason why we like flip and chop is it requires very little energy to emulsify a relatively soft nucleus. And we have a higher chance of saving and protecting that capsular bag. And that's of utmost importance. So we'll do a little hydro dissection here and we see a fluid wave going across. There it is, another wave, and then it prolapses up. Now you can see the degree of nuclear sclerosis in this cataract. Tilting the nucleus up like this, the next step, which is critical, is right there. That was putting extra dispersive viscoelastic to protect the central corneal endothelium. Now we use a high flow setting here, about 40 cc's a minute, high vacuum, about 500 millimeters of mercury, and high infusion flow. We just chop the nucleus in half, and then each half can be quickly emulsified using very little phaco power. It's primarily aspiration with just tiny amounts of ultrasonic energy. The cumulative dissipated energy in these cases is very low, usually one or less. Now the central endonucleus is gone. All we have to do now is aspirate out the epinuclear shell, and it comes up just like that. Notice how the chopper is in that safety position, because remember, we have to protect the capsular bag at all costs. Using this technique, the key point is to make a sufficiently large capsular axis, at least five millimeters. If you have a smaller capsular X of four and a half or four millimeters, do not attempt this technique, it's too small. And of course, ideal is this size, five to five and a half millimeters. That's enough to give a sufficient overlap of the six millimeter optic from the lens, and large enough to let the nucleus partially tilt out of the capsular bag. So we'll remove the lens cortex material here, we can do a little capsular bag polishing, and that looks great. Rest of the case looks pretty good too, we have a nice draping of the lashes. The incisions look great. Filling our capsular bag now with our cohesive viscoelastic. In this patient, we're going to put a single piece acrylic lens, a monofocal lens aiming for a plano refractive outcome. There goes the lens going in the capsular bag. This patient started off hyperopic, about plus three diopters of hyperopia, and the lens power here is plus 24 diopters. So let's rotate the lens a little bit, get the haptics to open up, and you can see it's a very efficient technique, even shown here in real time. This is a cataract that's done certainly well within a five minute mark. So it's not a horse race. We're not trying to go fast. We just want to be efficient, spend less time operating in the eye. That'll induce less inflammation. And we can have a beautiful result like this. A little bit of capsular polishing too on that under surface of the capsular rim. We'll complete that. And then we're ready to put in our uh, balance off solution at the end, seal up our incisions, and we'll be done with this case in very short work. So definitely if you have a lot of patients in your practice who have milder cataracts, two to maybe three plus nucleosclerosis or even less, then phaco flip and chops a very efficient technique, and you certainly will end up with clear corneas the next day and a higher margin of safety. So give it a shot. Thanks for watching.